Hey creators, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do grunge and weathered effects on your designs in bulk. So let's jump right in. The first thing we want to do is go into a collection that has some designs that we would like to apply these effects to. I do want to point out that these effects work much better if you're using a white text design or a black text design like these ones. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have all of the designs selected that we want to work on. So you can do this easily by going to this button here, clicking select all, and then you'll see the blue check mark is showing. That means that I'm working with these files I have selected. Next, I want to go to actions. And then you'll see under image utility here, there is image effect. So we're going to click that. Now the input file slot is the file that we're working with. The output file slot is where our new design is going to go after we apply these effects. So I'm going to do a grunge effect for this first one. Um, maybe we'll do number four here. Um, you can generate a preview if you would like. I'm not going to, I'm just going to apply image effect but I do want to talk about the effect color first. I have it set to transparent. So that what that means is all of these little specs are going to be transparent so that, for instance, if I put this on a blue t-shirt, the blue background is going to come through on all of these specs. That's what transparent means. Uh, you can add a color if you prefer, but we recommend you do transparent as that way it's going to look good with all of your um, designs that you're putting it on or all of your products. So now we'll click apply image effect. And now that that's done, we'll go ahead and double click this box so that we can see it across the board. And then I'm gonna go click switch the view. So this will take our data away and that way we can see the designs more clearly. So as you can see, we just applied that effect and I think this one looks really good with these designs. Um, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna go back to actions again and we're going to apply one more effect. So go to actions once again under image utility, we're gonna to go to image effect. Um, this time we will do this distressed effect. We're gonna do transparent again, and the output file slot will automatically update to an empty slot if you have one. Um, I'm just gonna put it in effect one where it's populated to, and then we'll click apply image effect. And you can see that works very quickly, maybe five seconds and it had all of them done. So once again, I can double click this here. We'll go to switch the view. And now, as you can see, we have a distressed effect and we have a grunge effect applied to these designs. And you can do this for 100 um, designs at a single time, um, all in bulk, just in the exact same way that I did it. You would just select them all here. So that does it for this video on how to apply grunge and weathered effects. Hopefully everything made sense. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for future My Designs content.